So what if you have f of x is equal to x to the fourth power minus 3x to the third power plus 16x. And the question is, um, the question is find the first and the second derivative of this function. Well, we've been finding first derivatives all day with the single prime mark, and we know how to take derivatives of polynomials like this, so we just do that. This is going to be 4x to the third, using our exponent rule. 4 comes out, and you have 3 in the exponent, minus 9x squared. Uh, the reason it's 9 is the 3 comes out of the exponent. 3 times 3 is 9, and the exponent is 3 minus 1. And then over here, you're just left with 16, because uh, 1 comes out of the exponent. 16 times 1 is simply 16, and you have a little x to the 0 power here, because 1 minus 1 gives you 0. And so in the end, that drops away. So this is the answer. This is the first derivative of f of x. This is the slope of this curve. So this, this curve here represents, at any given point, the slope of this curve. Okay. So the question is, what's the second derivative? Well, we write that with the two little prime marks, like this, the same as I showed you here for the second derivative. And the only thing you have to do here is, you just, in order to find the second derivative, you just look at the first derivative and take the derivative of that. And that will give you the second derivative. So looking at this formula here, let's take the derivative of that. We have 12x squared. 3 times 4 gives me 12. And the exponent is just 1 minus 3 there, or 3 minus 1, minus 18x. Because 9 times 2 is 18, and the exponent is going to be a 1. And then here's a constant. 16 is a constant, so the derivative of that is 0. So this is, these are your answers. Okay. These are your answers. This is the first derivative and this is the second derivative. So really, this is very simple and that's why I'm not going to work too many problems in the section. Get the first derivative just by taking the derivative of your original function. Get the second derivative by just taking the derivative of, of the first derivative. And that will give you that. So take the derivative of this to get to here. Take the derivative of this to get to here. And you can keep taking derivatives until you're blue in the face. You could take the third derivative, the fourth derivative, um, and so on.